Hey everybody and welcome to another video. It's it's been a long time and I've missed you guys. So I thought that um a video would be a good idea today. <laughs> um actually I just um was recording and decided that I needed to make more of an effort to do um more videos, talk with you guys and try to keep my YouTube channel alive. I just I'm so overwhelmed with work these days that I, I have a hard time even waking up sometimes. I sleep until I have to work again. And I've realized that this is a very um, sort of toxic lifestyle where all you do is wake up, work, and go to sleep. So I'm, I'm recognizing more and more, and I know I've, it's funny because I've preached this so many times, but I'm not practicing. I'm realizing more and more I need balance in my life. And when you're working full time with the kind of work I do, where mandation is a problem and, you know, you get so wrapped up in, I can make so much money if I just pick up a few extra hours here or there, um, you, you tend to get burnt out. And it's not like you set out to get burnt out, but it happens and it happens very, very easily. Um, and I'm recognizing myself going in that direction again. On top of that, I was, I've was i been driving like 40 minutes to work and from work. So that adds on, you know, an extra, you know, 80 minutes a day. Um, anyway, so I've actually been scaling back and I am going to start part-time work on the 20th. So it's going to only be three days a week. Um, and if I need to pick up within those days then I'll allow myself to. But otherwise, the rest of the time is for me. It's to take care of my home. It's to cook. I I literally have been eating out every single day. Um, and trust me, it's very unhealthy. I feel unhealthy. I feel disgusting. And yeah, so whatever. Anyway, so that's just a little quick update on me. Uh, let's talk about art because that's why we're here. We're not here to talk about work. We're here to talk about art because this is what we need to focus on to feel better. So recently, well, not even recently, um, just in the past few months, I've been try, you know, very interested in trying out um, liquid graphite, not liquid graphite, but water soluble graphite. Uh, and I've played around with it here and there, but I've never really tried to do pieces or record myself doing it because it's such a difficult medium for me to use. Um, I'm not quite sure why. I want to say it's because I'm, it's graphite, so I'm expecting it to behave a certain way, and it doesn't. It, it's not like regular graphite. Um, so if you guys don't know what um, water-soluble graphite is, it's basically um, a graphite that you can add water to. Not all graphite, you can add a little bit of water to, and you'll get a little bit of a wash effect from it. All graphite does that. Um, this is designed for that though. So it's kind of got water properties to it. I don't know the science and fancy stuff behind it. I'm not that kind of a channel. So <laughs> I just know that this is what it's supposed to do. And then I do it. Um, so the idea is, is basically you map out with the graphite, your darks and your lights, and then you add water and then you get a ink wash effect. It's a, it's a graphite effect, but it's an ink wash effect. And from my experience, once you've added water, it sort of becomes like, um, per not permanent, but it doesn't like smear or anything like that. I, at least I've not had an issue with that. I don't know about anyone else. Uh, so the water soluble graphite I'm using here, they're in pencil form. It's um, a Faber-Castell. It's basically what I could buy at Michael's because if it's not at Michael's and it's not at Hobby Lobby, then chances are I'm not going to go buy it unless it's on Amazon and even then I'm hesitant because I've had my poor credit card taken so many times and the only thing I use it on is Amazon so you live you learn um, and then I also got a new kind of watercolor paper because I, I had read that watercolor paper is the best um, paper to use for this kind of again it's a water soluble product so it makes sense I'm, I mean a lot there's a lot of logic behind it uh, that watercolor was the best. So I got um, Grumbacher. It's their uh, 140 pounds. So it's like 300 GSM cold press watercolor paper. And I got it only because it was in square form. 
I literally am living for squares these days. I, I don't want rectangles. I don't want triangles. I want square paper these days. And I think it's because my Willowbrook format is going to be square. So I bought it. And I wanted to try it out because it wasn't... I mean, it was kind of expensive. I mean, $8 for only 15 pieces. But it held up pretty good. I have no real complaints. Um, as you can see, as I'm going along here, I'm still mapping things out because I was really afraid to start using the water part. I'm not going to lie. I was scared. I, I, I just, I couldn't commit and I, <laughs> I, I was enjoying the picture itself, even though it's a little wonky looking back at it. Um, I didn't want to commit. Oh, look, there I go. There I go committing. I'm committing guys with water. Now this set that I bought came with a, uh, a paintbrush so that kind of helped it's a kind of a stiffer paintbrush too so I really liked it and I actually had a previous set that I lost the pencils to I think I um, accidentally threw them out thinking that they were something else which sounds like me and um yeah so I still have the paintbrush from that set and I actually use it a lot with my watercolor and this particular um, paintbrush works very well with the water soluble graphite I feel like I'm just rambling and I apologize anyway so the paper held up pretty good I didn't saturate it I didn't um go completely ham and do like a massive background or anything like that I just wanted to do a nice simple character profile and go from there um so I've been working a lot on writing things for Willowbrook lately uh I feel like part of my lack of desire to work on the project itself revolves around the fact that I don't have the story completely written down um, I have a very, very strong summary and a breakdown of what happens along the way, but I don't have the story itself written. And I'm one of those people who I don't like to really start a project until I know where what direction is going in because I have written myself into so many corners before that it's caused me to abandon things. And I hate that. I hate it so much. So there's that. It's, it's not a good excuse. I, trust me. 99.9% .9 of why nothing's happening lately is because I am just so tired from work. I'm trying to make those changes. I know I've said that before, um, but it has been one of those winters where I'm working a lot. Um, I've lost a lot of people and it's been very heavy on my heart. And it's just making me realize that our time here is so minimal and if we don't do the things that we set out to do if I don't write the stories if I don't make the comics it's just not going to happen I you know time doesn't discriminate and death doesn't discriminate we're only here for a minute amount of time so we need to make the most of it and if this story and if this project is something I truly 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 feel I need to do I just need to do it and that's kind of been the mindset of making changes and and pushing myself to start getting things done um, there's really not much else to say. I don't want to make these into like rambly talky videos. I, I don't feel like I'm good at those things. Um, so I'm going to just, uh, get up on out of here and let you guys enjoy the rest of the artwork and the smooth, nice jazzy music in the background. So thanks for watching guys. You know, I do love every single one of you and I do appreciate every single one of you. Um, and I have missed, um, making videos and things like that so i hope you guys who stuck around even though i've not been uploading can forgive the lack of uploading and understand that um i'm i'm not a one-dimensional person and i'm pulled in multiple directions and as much as i would love to make youtube a career it's just not feasible so but all right i'm gonna shut up like i said i was gonna and i'm gonna go bye